today guys project turbo ls oiling system as you can see here this uh, filter is dry I tried cranking it over but uh, I couldn't get any oil coming out of the pressurized oil line to the turbo so obviously the pump wasn't priming so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna attempt to uh, get this M295 melling oil pump primed there is a procedure so uh, anyways uh, this is the uh, the oil filter here for our Holly uh, 302-3 uh, oil pan I think I did a video on that before so as you can see it was dry so there's nothing in here so th our system wasn't pumping oil uh, while the engine was cranking we want to get oil to uh, critical co critical components even while the engine's cranking so we're just going to attempt to prime this okay guys so uh, basically I went to uh, Greg's distributors today bought some parts because we're going to try another another methodology for priming and pre-lubing our LS engine so about $55 in uh, fittings and some clear 3 8 tubing here uh, this is a drill pump right here so basically what you do is you just attach this shaft to your drill and you can pump fluid in or out whatever you want as you can see here there's the in there's the out that's about $18 so all together for all this stuff here I paid about $55 and uh, this fitting here that's an M16 by 1.5 pitch metric to a barb 3 8 barb so we'll basically thread that in to the side of our block or oil galley on the driver's side lower and that's going to be our point where we, we force pressurized oil into the oiling system with our drill pump right there and I'll show you where that uh, oil galley is right now and it's it's actually here's my wrench it's an eight it's an eight millimeter hex that's what we that's the socket you need to take that oil galley plug out so we can thread this guy in there and I'll show you show it to you right now so that's where it is right there I think you guys can see that yeah that's the that's the that's the plug we have to remove and it'll put that fitting in that uh, m16 by 1.5 barb fitting for our line and then we can attach our drill pump to it start uh, forcing oil into that galley it'll fill everything up and hopefully we can see some oil coming out of our lifters and our rockers so then we know everything is lubed in this engine and we're gonna be good to start I should probably show you while I'm down here yeah I'll show you this right here so that is our turbo feed and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the turbo feed line off and I'm gonna attach our pressure gauge line to that so what I did is that's just a regular fitting or housing there and I just drilled a hole so now we have uh, provisions for turbo oil feed so I'm gonna pull that uh, turbo oil feed line off and then I'm gonna hook our gauge up to it our mechanical pressure gauge and if we get pressure there then we know we're gonna get pressure to our turbo and that's the highest part port point of the engine oiling system so that'll be good so if I get all this hooked up hopefully we can see some pressure on our gauge and see some oil coming out of the rockers so I'll let you know in the next few scenes here if everything works well okay guys so here's the setup I got this cheap drill pump hooked up to my uh, rechargeable drill here craftsman whatever the hell it is it's above the uh, the oil filter for that little that little fitting there and I modified it to be our turbo feed that's the silver line you see here coming to the uh, the braided line coming to the turbo so I wasn't getting any uh, pressure as I when I just cranked my engine over with a starter motor because it just wasn't enough for that generator pump because we need a lot of uh, RPM with that thing to start pumping so I just decided to do it this way kind of a hokey dirty messy setup I probably wouldn't recommend this but I did uh, have the uh, thing spinning and I was getting 30 psi and oil started coming out of the rockers so that's a good sign so if it starts coming out of the rockers uh, that means we've lubed everything in the engine and I wasn't I couldn't remember if my barbell was still in there to uh, give me pressure so now I can confirm that uh, we have pressure in this LS so it'll be good upon startup so I'm just going to show you I'm not sure if you guys can see the gauge there but uh, let's see here if I put the camera Yeah, there's the gauge right so I'm gonna I'm gonna hit this drill and as you saw here I've got the uh, the hose in a and some oil there super messy so uh, so yeah I'll, I'll attempt to spin this drill and see what happens see if we get pressure again
Yeah, there it goes. See that? See the needle going up? I hope you guys can see that, though. So we've got 10 PSI, and I see oil coming out of the rocker right there. I'm going to drain this oil again, so now we've got 20 PSI. Oil is coming out of the rocker, so that's good. Yep. So you got 20 psi there. Oil well, is coming out of the rockers. You guys probably can't see that because of where the camera is. I got it on my little stand here. So yeah, we got oil going in, coming out of our little uh, container here, nice and clean. And we do have oil coming out of the rockers now, so that's good. That's what I wanted. And we're saving our starter motor because I burned one of them out. Actually, I didn't burn it out, it just started smoking. I thought I wrecked it, but it wasn't wrecked because I bench tested it and it was good. So we got, we got about, uh, yeah, about 20 PSI there, guys. So that's pretty good. And as you can see here, guys, there's the oil coming out of the rockers. So that's all I wanted to do is just see uh, if we can get some oil up to the rockers. So now we know we've got oil at the crankshaft. And uh, everything is good. So I okay, guys, so I just wanted to show you the oil coming out of the rock. Hopefully, you can see this this messy setup again. So let's just see. So we got our blow pump turning. Hopefully, the camera will pick up the oil coming out of the the rocker arm for the push rods and then down the rockers. Yeah, it's coming down one of them there, you can see that. And we've got about 20 PSI oil pressure on our gauge, so that's good. Using again our cheap ass uh, drill pump. Coming out of this guy right here, these two. See that, right there. Right there, right there. Well, looks like I'm out of power. Damn. All right, guys, so it looks like uh, everything worked out pretty good with our pre-lubing of our LS engine behind us there. Uh, yeah, we got some pressure at 20 PSI on the mechanical gauge, so that's awesome. And we saw some oil coming out of the, uh, the rocker arms, and so that means basically we've got oil at our crankshaft, and we've got oil at our rockers, we've got oil at our lifters, so everything is gonna be lubed once we roll this thing over and actually start it. And we've got oil at the pressure gauge, so that means the turbo feed line will work fine. Uh, so we've got oil there, so it looks like uh, the barbell that's in the engine that is basically a, a diverter valve and does some metering to the oil going to the lifters and the uh, rockers and everything. That is in the engine, because when I put this engine together I totally forgot to check that and I wasn't sure if I was going to get pressure in the oiling system. So the barbell that's in there is probably still in there and it's working fine because I was able to get about 20 psi rotating that drill. That rechargeable drill only turns about 1,000, uh, 1,100 RPM. So we got about uh, 20 psi at 1,100 RPM, so that's pretty good. And those, uh, those drill pump pumps aren't that efficient. There's a lot of leakage past the uh, impeller. So we got pressure, we got some oil coming out of the rockers. So that's all I wanted to verify. So yeah, guys, so that's uh, another procedure done on uh, Project Turbo LS. So uh, looks like we're getting closer. I just got to rebuild that exhaust. And then I can hook up the Terminator X Max and hopefully start this thing. And uh, again, guys, if you like the video, hopefully you learned something. If you like, uh, subscribe if you like. That'll be awesome. And uh, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it.